this mindset has helped me 10x my productivity. It's increased my iman, it's increased my God consciousness, and it's helped me smash objectives. Due to this mindset, I've made the biggest life advancement, and it's something that I apply to this very day. Now, before we speak about the mindset in question, I need you to understand this as a Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in control of your affairs, your money, your wealth, your sustenance, your risk. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in control of all of that. And everything happens or doesn't happen through the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and through what Allah has decreed. For example, you have a football match and you won the football match. That victory came from Allah. Your business boomed, you acquired more wealth, more money. That came from Allah. So understanding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in control of everything, does it not make sense for us to prove ourselves to Allah? To prove that we're worthy of getting to the next stage, to prove that we're worthy of these victories. Let me give you an analogy. You have a boss at work. Your boss is the one that decides whether or not you get a raise. You as the worker, you're going to do everything in your power and strength to make sure you impress this boss so you get that raise, right? You're going to be doing extra shifts, you're going to be doing a bit of overtime, you're going to make sure that your work is done on time. This is the way you should be with Allah. If you want to get to the next stage in life, you need to prove to Allah that you're ready and that you're worthy. Because if you're put into that next stage, and you haven't done the necessary improvement, you haven't increased your own man, you haven't seeked knowledge. If you're put into that next stage, it could be destructive. For example, you ask Allah subhanahu wa for money. And yeah, again, you haven't done any improvement, you haven't done any work on yourself to make yourself worthy and ready to handle that money. If you're put into that stage where you now have that money, Allah subhanahu wa has given you that money, it could destroy you. You could form a gambling addiction. You could be somebody that starts spending money on drugs because you haven't done the necessary work. But if you've done the self-improvement, you've increased your iman, you've showed Allah that you're worthy to handle that money, perhaps Allah SWT will give it to you knowing that you will spend it righteously, you will give in charity, you will help people. And I applied this mindset when I was in a very weird, sticky time in my life. I was in between two stages. I, I could feel that I was in between two stages. You know, like a season of a TV show. I felt as though there was a person that I had to become in order for me to get into that new season. This version of me was someone that was way more mature, had a better connection with Allah, had a, a better connection with my Salah. This version of me was more business minded and this version of me was better with money. I had to become this version of me before I can get into this next session, this next season. It took a few months, a few months of just self-improvement, a few months of just working myself. I was going to the masjid five times a day, every prayer, banging it out, increasing my iman, improving my relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the end, alhamdulillah, Allah granted me what I wanted. Allah granted me my wishes, alhamdulillah. So what you need to do now is think about your goals. Think about things that you want to achieve. It could be long term, it could be short term, it could be five years from now. Just think about what your goals are. Think about what's required of you to achieve this goal. Think about the person you need to become, what work you need to be putting in, what needs to be done. Now I want you to think about the person that you need to become in order for you to prove to Allah that you're worthy of getting to that next stage. Or even things that you must stop to prove to Allah that you're worthy of getting to the next stage. For example, if you're a weed smoker and you spend a lot of money on weed but you're asking a lot for money, of course it makes sense for you to want to stop smoking weed and spending money on drugs because if you were to be given that wealth, it will just destroy you. You will just continue smoking and buying and smoking and buying. So have this mindset that you are continuously just proving yourself to Allah, that you are trying to become a better person, a better Muslim, so that Allah can grant you the things that you desire in this life and the next, inshallah ta'ala. Life is just a long journey back to Allah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raju'un. To Allah we belong and to Him we will return. So the ultimate goal should be to return to Allah in the best possible condition, inshallah. Work towards that, have that as one of your goals as well. But as always, I hope this video was indeed a beneficial one. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I will see you at the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.